Hello, so for this week's Slow Motion Monday episode, I got inspired to record this little left-hand pattern that's in uh, Deborah Frio's arrangement of Scarborough Fair, which is a fantastic arrangement. And I have a student who's just started working on this and thought I would film the left-hand pattern. So one of the things I'm looking at here is just how I get from this bottom note as we start up, here we go, crossing four underneath, and then watching how three and two go as directly as possible to those two notes. In, in other words, we're not reaching up and coming down, that they're going as efficiently and as effectively as possible to the next group. So we're about to see that again as it comes up again. So four crosses under nice and low, and three and two, you can see they just kind of open right up onto the strings. It's also interesting to note, of course, that on the way up there, that thumb place is quite late. Sort of uh, the when you're first practicing something like this, it's nice to practice placing as a group, right? So you've crossed four under, and now you're going to place three, two, one before playing any notes, right? That's sort of the the very classic way of doing that. Same as on the way down, right? We get ready, we cross that thumb over, and then we're going to place two and four as a unit, which in fact I am doing. But as you'll notice in actual fact when I'm doing this, that thumb is coming on late. You're going to see three and actually two comes on a little bit late there, and then the thumb. So one of those cases where when I'm teaching that, I might suggest that you practice finding three, two, one as a group, but as you can see, when I'm actually doing it, that's not exactly what I do. But again, I think it's good practice at a slow speed to try and find it as a group. And you'll notice on the way back down here, right now, I'm gonna find two, three, four as one unit. You can see that all those three fingers just found those three notes as one unit. And again, two and four are going to find themselves. So on the way up, I think we're having to work quite hard to get the hand up there, right? Um, so that delay is maybe acceptable. Uh, it was just always interesting, right, to watch what one actually does. And uh, the one last thing I just thought was, was kind of interesting is that thumb motion there, that turnaround at the bottom, how when exactly the thumb kind of opens up and gets ready to replace. So I think we're going to get one more iteration. Let's watch. Oh, no, that was it. Oh, well, something you can go back and watch. But I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next week for Harp Tuesday. Plus, don't forget, one million views celebration on this coming Saturday. Cheers.